Hi, it's Dr. Parikh. Module six. Uh, so for this one, we have another kind of light one. Well, appearing light, but uh, this discussion is more than a usual discussion. Uh, so there's nothing the first couple days of the week, but again, this discussion post is uh, more than a typical one. So as we come down here, uh, so there's a typical post that's pretty typical. Uh, current events presentation. This one again, a group presentation is fine. Uh, ideally, you would tell me a week in advance um, because again, I technically do, I, I need to approve things, but most things I anticipate approving. Um, so as soon as you know that you want to participate, do a group project, email me or come to office hours uh, and I'll try to approve or make suggestions as quickly as possible. Two or three people, really not a big deal, just kind of do the project as written. More than that, come to me with ideas or ask me for ideas of how to make it a, a bigger presentation to make sure everyone's still able to make a contribution. Um, this one needs to be a recorded video. It can have your face or it could be more like this where it's just your screen recording. Um, and make sure any images you have, you have um, a description and that your video is something that allows closed captions. YouTube does it automatically. Uh, other sources are fine. Just make sure that there's closed captioning or a transcript. Uh, and if you use your Caldwell account, you can just set it to be unlisted uh, and then no one will find it without the link. Uh, so the presentation, you're going to, similar to the last time, you're going to just choose a current media, current event or media portrayal of something related to gender issues. So you can go back to the previous current events uh, project. Let me see, it's in week three. Uh, so here I kind of go into more depth on what it's, what is acceptable. That all still applies. Um, but here we're looking for at least two sources. So uh, two different articles or posts on the same topic uh, and at least two course concepts. So kind of two broader issues that you can relate it to uh, with at least two sources for each one. So four sources total. Um, and here I have, uh, this is just sort of the um, the very basic outline. You can see what kinds of things I'm looking at. Uh, so here I've got, let's see, I think that description is the same. Yeah, I think that's all updated. So it might be, um, so here's one from the 2020 Olympics, the women athletes uniforms. Uh, so I've got two different sources talking about um, and this one is kind of a pro and con in a way. One group saying that, uh, you know, kind of talking about the issues with female athletes dress codes uh, and another source where there's people saying like, actually, this is, you know, for beach volleyball in particular, the, you know, the expected clothing is appropriate for the sport. So I, I pick out two different issues related to this. One is dress codes uh, and sexualization. Um, so how expectations of dress encourages uh, the sexualization of girls. And another one on sexual violence uh, and how sort of this focus on women's bodies can be related to sexual violence. Uh, another one I was, so a lot of this I uh, developed in fall of 2020. So uh, the Olympics were still a hot topic then. This is why I have you do current events because things feel dated so very quickly. Um, so this one was about Simone Biles withdrawing from the 2020 Olympics. Um, and so I have actually three different articles about um, Simone Biles. One, I talk about the intersection of race and gender because I believe that, uh, I strongly believe that Simone Biles being a black female uh, is different from a white female uh, in terms of how she is portrayed, perceived as an athlete and a person and a woman and an, 
uh, a public figure. And then also women as public figures in general, uh, looking on kind of the, um, I, I think we could say a lot about how women are um, talked about online and uh, just how women are treated when they're in the public eye. So that's just an example of where you've got at least two sources and you pull out two different ways of thinking about this issue from class and at least two sources for each of those. So you need four sources total on kind of two spread across two topics or two you know ways of critiquing or thinking about this topic. So again, there's a decent amount of work here. I think this is a great uh, group presentation. You could easily divide some of this stuff up. Uh, and if you want more than three people, um, I can help you think of, you know, it could, you could easily add, uh, you know, more sources under each critique, sort of each area of critique. You could also add more areas of critique. Um, you could perhaps go more in depth on the sources themselves. There's a lot of ways we can pretty easily scale this one up. Um, so for your presentation, you're going to choose a current event, summarize the event using at least two sources, then use at least two course concepts with at least two resources for each one to critically analyze the event or media. Um, so you're doing all of this, you're making the video with closed captioning, and then you're posting it in your discussion. Um, a link, just posting a link is fine. If you can f embed it, that would be awesome. Um, I usually use this to embed videos. I don't know if there's a better way. I might look into that later and make a quick video uh, for this module if I find a good way to embed videos because mine involves source code and copying and pasting. So, yeah. Um, so that is your current events uh, presentation. That's the biggie for this week. Let me just check again real quick. We've got readings. Yep. And then you're, so you've got a topical post, a quiz, and then that current events presentation. Uh, and again, the earlier you Pick a group, the easier it is to make sure that it's all going to work. Thanks. Bye-bye.